Hello and welcome to CJC Adventures. I'm Carl and today me and Craig are at the Red House Glass Cone Museum. Now we're in Stalbridge, but it's also classed as the town of Wordsley. This was built in 1788 and was finished in 1794. Only four of these buildings remain in the whole of Great Britain. The other three are in Leamington, Catcliffe and Alohar. This is the best looked after out of all of them apparently. It's a Grade 2 listed building. It's looked after by Dudley Council and we're going to take a look at some of the history of the glass making in Stalbridge. And they used to blow it down there, the cheeks used to come right out. There, 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 there. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's uh, there. Look on that picture, look. Oh, you know, the old way it down, you can go out into the But it now good for your lungs. Oh, I've got one now. Think about it, like, it puts pressure on you. Keep doing that every day, doesn't it? Oh, so. Probably down machines then, did they, to, no. to create them all. Oh, it's uh, it's a lovely structure, eh? What is glass? A hard, brittle substance, typically, typically transparent for transcellent, made by fusing sand with solder and lime, cooling rapidly so the crystallisation of the melt does not occur. Glass is amorphous, lacking a clear, defined shape or form process, processed naturally by gemstones. That's what it used to look round, like round here, like. Uh, it's yes. an oil painting. Of Wordsley, 1846, by Henry Pratt. Mm. A lot of history, isn't it? Oh, I'm definitely here. You are here. This is inside the cone. Very old structure. Oh, yeah, oh the fairness that the Jews all. This is where the smoke would come out the top. Yeah, yeah. And it would uh, bring out the glass. And that's where it would be made. Somewhere in the tunnel, eh? You can see yeah, it's a tunnel on the structure build. It's one massive structure here. Just not like to climb up there with a ladder or anything. Oh, it's well worth a visit. Small thing. We see him do it. Good one, did that. Say pots, pot making and setting. <laughs> So you think about the history that this has got here. Yeah, the people. Glass workers working in their own machines in the red old ghost glass going 1902. That's what you call hard work. Them and the furnaces, are they? What they used oh, to put, yeah, what yeah, they put the on. glass in. That's scary, ain't that, looking at that. Much oh. waking in there. Oh, oh that's unbelievable. <laughs> Look, it's, it is a well maintained place here. Eh? This 
say people wouldn't do work like that now, would they? No, no. Well, you had to go to work then, do you? Just the old cobbled stones. Makes you think how many people have walked on them over the years. Many a week. Just to go inside there. And that is the window say around these parts. Window. <laughs> well, I think it's the weather, eh? What's caused the damage to the cone itself? Oh, this is zero. So it's under, under redevelopment to fix it. Well, they must be like the original like trolleys, wouldn't they? That they'd bring the wake out on, and yeah. after they'd blow the glass, that's that is what they'd do. The canal was dug out or hand cut by men called navigators or navvies. God, we did start. Digging the cut out by hand. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. You gotta really like hard work to do that, eh? Oh, yeah. That'd be like where they'd uh, make the glass in then, wouldn't it? And with the wheels on, and then. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, the remnant from years ago. Eh? Think about all the hard work that this, this is all Sid. Think about the people who've come here just to earn a living and make sure that they've. Yeah. Some Canadian geese too. Oh, yeah. well, this area was originally used to wash sand. The sand was then dried in a small furnace oven called a corker and was then ready to use in the glass batch. So. Be around here then. Remnants of the past. Oh no, that was mid here, the glass. That's so that's 528 million years old. Be a fossil, I would have thought it would be old. Good God. Try a brick stair, we know it didn't good. So what does it mean you'll combine those? Oh, it's terrible. Deep down there, that old, is it? No. Compresses they used to use them, hadn't they? Just to yeah. grab things that was really hot. Yeah. It's a lot like they used to make the actual little cutlets of glass for it. Yeah. Yeah. Like the whiskey decanters and. They'd finish it off. They go through different departments, are they? From you know, when the first start making it to finish it off, and everybody works in a different department, are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the mouldings of the glass. Oh, coal. It looks yeah, cheap. Sure he's, uh, he's like the the kid, eh? He watches, 
guiding the guiding the ass along the court. And he's the one who's probably having a good go at him and saying, you know, come on, work harder, get we wanna get there tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they put it under there, wouldn't they, in the glass to cool off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty cool some now oh, they look like gravel. Gotta be like the original materials they used to use. Or probably still do, don't they? And they're yeah. Making the glass. Oh, pod changing equipment, levers and bars, barrels, trolley. That was when everybody used to have to sweat to make a living. Again, that's where all the That's the only remaining example in the world, that is. No. Anywhere in the world, that is the very last one, the only one remaining. Sure, it's the only example in the world, that you imagine that. Anywhere in the world, that's the only one there is. Yeah, no. Look how big the world is. Yeah, well, one good example is a glass and crystal. Quality made. Do a lot in today's money. From the 1700s, they only wound it. Yeah. Oh, this is a historic time right now. Up to the present day. Yeah. Frederick Stewart in 83. I'm having a tea break and Craig's pouring the tea. You don't normally pour it that good, but he's pouring it good today. Oh. You could have bought me a cake, Craig, to go with you. I'll have a cream bun. And a bun, bun for him. <laughs> sausage roll, would it? <laughs> A bone. <laughs> They're the same thing, it's a sausage roll and a bone. Yeah, I'll tell you. you know what they actually filmed here? Remember, can you remember that? I think it was the 90s or the early 90s, Rosie and Jim puppets. Oh. Oh. Two rag dolls. Oh. Oh, they filmed it here. And uh, Michael Portillo come here to film oh. one of his programmes. Oh, I have fun. See all these bits flying about off the no. off the court. Mm. Now the glass. I'll say to you, what the glass? Yeah. A lot of the glass they used on the Titanic for the crystal where they were medieval. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. See babies have been here then filming.
like the main entrance part here. Uh, well, open this way. You can see some glass. And it's made. Yeah, it's like the old glacé from the Roman days right up to the the newer stuff. Oh. So it's like uh, the new crystal. All the newer stuff. Proper original glass makers chair. This weird's there. right up from bottom to top where the way it was all started in the 1700s in the earlier days seems to be proper collector's items are they them like men in steel vision ways It's really glass away. It's proper ill, proper quality. None of it was made abroad in them days. Mostly is now. This is one of the only remaining ones that still make the glass. Which is which is wonderful really. About that, it just, it's just all about ET. Yeah, I've made on this 
Se pode saber que não. Sale glasses now. Fascinating. Very therapeutic to watch. Marvelous eyes. Did you say his name was? Alistair Malcolm. Good worry. Oh, there you go. The Dalek, made in Wadesley Stairbridge in 2010. The Sarah's lorry near locked in midair. We mentioned a lot of it was made for the Titanic. All their glassware, and you can see why, because that's their sort of design. If you ever see pictures of the ti actual Titanic itself. Feel much happier than most people. Happier than me. I do like a lot of these. Are I'm gonna be honest. Something that you could put on your windowsill. Oh. You know you could. Put on your windowsill at all, maybe to look nice, you know. Because a lot of the designs, even though some on them, they probably think, you know, yeah. but it's like classed as like a vintage thing, ain't you know? Yeah. Oh yeah. Or, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting all the work what's gone into it, eh? the pattern and the do Yeah. I might put in for a being a glass blower, Craig. Uh, Think. Craig and Carl's glass blowing service. <laughs> So this was the place to be, worried for people who wanted to come here and do glass blowing. Yeah. Marvellous sight. It's, you know, they'd come here to work and then that would be their job after. Yeah. No, it is. I think it does, yeah. As you say, I mean, the links that they'd have to them, aren't they? Yeah. Well done. As I say, it's history really preserved in here, and you look around and you, you see that much you think of history mill places of history but Stourbridge and Wares live certainly got history in glass which is it's fantastic for those of you who like spicy fills there is obviously a pepper Mm. Oh, pepper, red pepper. Same family, are they? 
ones with cherries in it. 1978 that was made. Was it? 1978. Oh, okay. So, let's see. Let's see. And uh, spring bulbs, sprouting bulbs. Well, let's see how they actually put that together. 2008, that one. Could I have that in your um, living room, Craig, for a coffee table? That's where it is, eh? Coffee table, is he? Oh, such a polish in there. Yeah, 1999, eh? Oh. Yeah. Made up by blocks, eh? Look, blocks of glass, pieces yeah. of glass put together. Yeah. 